What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Zero Productions. We got some interesting news to talk about. Apparently, the Marvels, yes, the Marvels is a sequel to Captain Marvel. Now, we all know, well, some of you may know if you've been following me on my channel for quite some time, that I wasn't the biggest fan of Captain Marvel. Not Captain Marvel the character, but Captain Marvel the movie. I thought it was a very, very big disappointment in my eyes. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to where we can grow and expand on the sequel. Usually sequels are much better than the first films, unless you're talking Thor, The Dark World. <laughs> but I'm excited because not only will Captain Marvel be in this movie, but Spectra, Monica Rambeau also will be appearing in this film. And I expect her to be full blown in costume and powers and the whole nine. Also, Miss Marvel, Camilla Khan, will be in this film as well. Three heroes will be appearing in the Marvels, you guys, which I'm really excited about. I love the idea of just really going crazy with the Marvel Cinematic Universe and having these characters interact and crossing over in big kind of ways. And this is it. I mean, we're in the phase of right, right now where it's like, you can make a movie and have that be a solo movie, but... We're going to throw in many more Marvel characters. I feel like Civil War just really, you know, pillared that 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 kind of Marvel movie where you can have massive Marvel characters in your sequels and films. But I'm very, very excited to see a new director helm this film, Nia DaCosta. I'm still waiting on Candyman, which drops later this month. Which I cannot wait to watch you guys. I think this, this, this Candyman film is going to be terrifying. And I can't wait to see what her vision and her artistic approach to Candyman. Also, the Marvels as well. Um, apparently, she has a lot of creative control over at Marvel for the Marvels movie, which I'm really excited to hear. Other than the first two, rec first two directors who directed the first film, it was a, it was a male and female. I forgot, I forgot who, directed, who directed that shit, but it, you could just tell there, there were a lot, of, a lot of problems with that first movie, you guys. Um, blatantly just being boring. You know what I mean? I felt just really bored during that first movie, and I was just like... Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a prequel, okay? It's an origin story, all right, I get it. But it seems like when she crash-landed to Earth, it just went downhill from there. And, you know, I just I got really bored. But, like I said, we're going to up the ante. The Marvels, I feel like, is going to be a massive, massive movie. I feel like it's going to be huge. I can't wait for the introduction to Camilla Khan in her own Disney Plus series. And by then, you know, we'll, we'll get the introduction. And then by the, the time, you know... Uh, the Marvels roll around, she should be in full-blown costume, knowing her powers and stuff like that. Really excited to see her new form powers, you know what I mean? Um, they're not going to be, you know, the the powers we know from the comic books. That's obviously going to change. Marvel Studios is definitely going a, a different direction. Um, but I'm excited to see where, where Monica Rambeau and her character goes and her interactions with, you know, Carol Danvers because she didn't leave off, you know, good terms with Carol Danvers. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to play out as well. And I just, I love Monica Rambeau in WandaVision. I'm glad to see her really, you know, take on the, the, these these new uh, form powers of hers because of the whole hex. That's where she, and it, it's just essentially got her powers from. So I really can't wait to see how, how her powers are going to look, how her costume is going to look. That's going to be awesome to see. And how they're really going to kind of you know, tell the story of Captain Marvel going forward, you know, and how strong she could be because in Endgame, she was pretty badass. I mean, she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos and it was awesome to see. So I'm really curious to see how they're going to explore her powers furthermore and just show how really powerful Captain Marvel is, you guys. But I'm expecting so much to happen in this film, especially with Secret Invasion literally right around the corner. You know what I mean? I mean, I think Secret Invasion does come out next year. I know uh, the Marvels is slated for November 11, 2022. So we could have Secret Invasions and... The Marvels come out one year and they could play toe to toe with one another, you know, uh, being uh, related. Uh, but I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm pumped to see what Nita Costa can do with uh, the Marvels, you guys. Let's hope it's good. Post your comments down below. Let me, know, let me know what you guys think about the Marvels officially starting production. Let me know what you guys think. Post your comments down below. Peace.